do you do any exercises so i do a little bit of warm up and i also go for Only walks close. in the morning and evening okay okay and uh, do you get do that regularly yes every day every day every day wow that's something so dominic is a very diligent exerciser and you can make out that he is in shape and fit for what we're going to talk about today when we talk about basic exercises of health usually there are a lot of misconceptions which i'm sure dr kiran is going to also tell us about so dominic tell us when you talk about yourself working for 8 hours a day sitting in behind the screen how do you motivate yourself to do this type of exercise you said you exercise every day or you walk or whatever you do how do you motivate yourself so the motivation came uh, in in the last 2 years uh, when i was continuously eating and continuously working continuously eating uh, eating and working uh -huh. and working and uh -huh. eating and then sleeping working and, and then i realized that i have a pillow in front of me <laughs> you have a pillow in front of you okay and uh -huh. uh, then i also realized that uh, that my cholesterol was hitting the roof ah so i had to do something about it okay okay so then i decided the one of the ways i can do at least i can't run hmm. i didn't have the stamina so i said let me try walking all right okay so i gradually started walking okay okay and what did you find changed after you started doing exercises so initially when i started uh, walking uh, i i could barely do 2 kilometers and uh, i used to start panting and then gradually i started uh, increasing over a period of time i just kept listening to my body and pushing it as much as i could and then i found that my stamina started uh, improving uh, you know i was more focused and i was more uh, uh, more stress free, stress free as well mm. because i had a lot of me time i had a lot of time to think about what i need to do during the day as well so it has really helped me all right and uh, the pillow has become smaller all oh, right the pillow has become smaller so for all those of you who are watching and who have joined us just now this is a life enrichment series part 2 where we are talking about basic exercises for health i can't see from here how many people are there on zoom but if anybody can okay so people are joining in so glad to welcome you all in another 5 minutes we will start with the main talk by our resource person dr kiran who is a neuro physiotherapist attached to our hospital she is very good with these type of things and i am sure you will find out soon what is the expertise that she has in this area by the way dominic before you started exercising you said that 2 years back you started exercising did you do any fitness consultation no i didn't do any fitness consultation okay okay my only motivation was uh, milan suman so i kept looking at him and i thought that you know if i grow a beard and get myself in shape i can start looking like him so his motivation was milin soman who many of the younger generation may not know but he was a bodybuilder actor and things like that a model right he was a model doctor model ah. he is a model as well he is a role model to dominic <laughs> but the reason why i asked dominic for whether he has heard of a fitness consultation is because a fitness consultation is something which is very important and we'll talk about that after the talk we'll also have time for question answers for those who have joined in to this life enrichment series basic exercises for health after the talk by talk and demonstration by dr kiran in which we also request all of you who are watching on zoom to please do those exercises if you can so it's it's an interactive zoom session where we'll be also watching y'all as you do the exercises and there will be special prizes for those who do these exercises in the best way possible so uh, please be ready on zoom keep your uh, phone comfortably on some uh, stand or something so that you all can also stand or lie down or do these exercises which uh, dr kiran is going to show on the screen we will start we'll be starting with the exercises soon we just wait for three more minutes to let some more people join in the meantime i'll just continue to ask my friend dominic here we are talking about fitness consultation so would you like to go for a fitness consultation so uh, 
I'd really like to know what this fitness consultation is and how different it is uh, from uh, a dietitian. Yes, so that's what I'm going to tell you today. I have my good friend Daniel who has sent me details of what a fitness consultation actually is. So I'll just read out some of the things that he does. He is a fitness consultant. Unfortunately, today he couldn't join us because he is having his exams. So what he mentioned was that in these days, in the city of Mumbai and elsewhere, I'm sure all over the world and especially after COVID, a large number of the population has adopted a sedentary lifestyle. Is it true? that most people have adopted a sedentary lifestyle, including the students and children going to school. They also couldn't go out of their house. Although many individuals have access to a gym or some for sort of facility for exercise, most people don't. I'm sure many of you here may have gym memberships, but you all may not be using it for one reason or the other. There are lots of excuses that people have for not exercising. Because of which there has been a significant rise in obesity and sudden cardiac deaths and various other cardiovascular illnesses like high diabetes, hypertension, high cholesterol. Just like how Dominic mentioned that when he did his checkup, he found that he's having high cholesterol. So there is a need for people to exercise and even if you don't have a gym or you don't have access to any other equipments, we will show you today what are the basic exercises that you can do today in this life enrichment series. Now the purpose of a fitness consultation is to understand the background of an individual and it includes five components. It includes demographic information, that means it takes your weight, height, your address and things like that. Medical history, so it asks you whether you are having any other medical history. And thirdly, it asks you whether you need medical clearance for a job, for example pilots or people who are uh, you know, flying and things like that, they need medical clearance. Then we also take the exercise history and lifestyle history. So this is part of the fitness consultation that Daniel and people like him do. And I am very much interested in knowing more about this fitness consultation and I am sure all of you are. So after this talk we will definitely talk, touch upon that. And basically in the fitness consultation we also check for cardiovascular endurance, muscular endurance, muscular strength, flexibility and body composition. So this is all that will be going on in a fitness consultation but that is something which we will discuss later. Right now we are going to talk on basic exercises for health as part two of the life enrichment series. I am Dr. Matthew here and this is Dominic and we are from the REACH team of the Living Hope Church and we are so glad that you have joined in. I'd like to uh, call upon Dr. Kiran to now lead us into the time of basic exercises for health. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Kiran. Today we'll be talking about basic exercises for health. So before we start this session, let me ask you one question. Did you all in last 15 to 20 minutes, did you all practice an activity called drinking water? Did you all? No? In past one hour? Yes. Everyone, raise your hands. So how important it is to drink water for your health? That much important it is to exercise every day. So what exercise is that it should be incorporated in your daily living activities? And that is very important. So I'm very sure at the end of this session, you'll understand the importance of exercising as much as drinking water. So when we start about thinking exercise, one word, that message that comes in your mind, that is losing weight. Every time when you think about exercise, it is one thing only, that is losing weight, what you can lose how you can look better, how you can meet the unrealistic expectations of the people to shape yourself. But let me tell you all, exercise is not about losing, it is about gaining. It is about gaining how you feel better. 
it is not about measured how it is on the scale but it is measured in terms of how you feel how joy you feel while exercising so it is about being physically fit mentally and as well as emotional well being so when it comes in therapeutic purpose exercise decreases the morbidity and mortality rate what is morbidity and mortality rate so nowadays you can just come around the cases that in very uh, early age that person is came across heart attack or something like strokes these are very common diseases this time we are coming across because of the sedentary lifestyle also osteoarthritis which is seen in old age people why this why these diseases are coming across us these days because there are lot lack of exercises so exercise not only it is not only about exercising with particular type of planned activities it can be anything it can be a planned activity household work or any occupational task it can be anything whatever you enjoy doing it so the key factor among this is total energy expenditure whatever activity you are performing in that you should release certain type of energy that is the main motive behind doing any of the energy exercises so now when exercises are thought the strengthening exercise is the main one beyond that we don't think about doing any other exercises or something like that but do you all thought that only one exercises is enough to meet your daily demands for your age related diseases age related matters is it that enough there are four type of exercises that you need to include in your daily activities that is endurance flexibility balance and strength those are four type of exercises that you all should incorporate now each one has different benefits with it each one has different points to incorporate so let us see how this four activities help you in different manner so first we'll go towards the endurance exercise what is endurance in simple word it is the cardio cardio means running jogging swimming or climbing stairs so now when it comes to cardio what it is it is low impact exercises done in longer period for example today if you are taking one step with no breathlessness very comfortable tomorrow you will progress towards two steps this is for example you will progress towards two steps and with that if you feel comfortable that is the increase in your endurance level that after walking certain miles away you feel better that is how you increase your endurance now with this endurance what happens how it benefits you it helps in your heart your lungs how lungs when you do uh, endurance exercises that is cardio exercises you tend to breathe more you need more of oxygen and because of that you help your lungs in a better way to breathe more oxygen also your heart starts pumping very fast that's what you need also they prevent the diseases and delay in many of them that is osteoporosis asthma cancers many of such diseases now when it is about endurance exercise we need to exercise at certain limit that is the target heart rate what is target heart rate now in endurance exercise we come across jogging or walking but what in between as you said that i can't run but in between run and walking there is called brisk walking what is brisk walking that you tend to be little slow than jogging and little fast than walking you should be at a medium pace to just walk little bit fast in that you can 
measure the target heart rate in that your maximum heart rate can reach how do you calculate that maximum heart rate that you are using your optimum level for that energy now there is a formula in that what it is when you need to measure the target heart rate it is your age 220 minus your age that is your target heart rate so for example to not my age you tell me your age okay so when it comes to target heart rate it is 220 minus the age in years that will give you the target heart rate now according to the american heart association the target heart rate for moderate intensity exercise is 50 to 70 percent of your maximum heart rate and when you are doing vigorous exercise it is 70 to 85 percent of your maximum heart rate now on the screen you will be able to see what are the maximum heart rate that you have to achieve now what is 100 and 170 170 100 is the lowest one and 170 it is the highest one so when we are measuring the target heart rate when we are for 50% of our maximum heart rate we tend to go for 100 that is the minimum heart beat and what is 170 that is the extended target heart rate so for the age of 30 that we need 95 to 162 beats per minute when you go for endurance exercises for 45 years we need 88 to 149 beats per minute for 50 it is 85 to 145 beats per minute and mostly for 60 it is 80 to 136 beats per minute are you clear how heart target heart rate has to be measured is it okay okay now with this car a uh, cardio exercise you also lose the bad cholesterol which is in your body that uh, that is the ldl that is the bad cholesterol which is stored when you lean uh, tend to lose the weight with the aerobic exercises you tend to lean the fat in your body also it also lowers the blood pressure in 60s or 70 you generally come across this heart pressures and everything diabetic such type of condition doing aerobic exercise every day every day helps you in lowering this levels also when you do brisk walk it increases your insulin sensitivity the muscles use muscle you are able to use the insulin in a better way so this helps in diabetic patients as well that is brisk walking now we move towards the tips what we have to take care while doing the aerobic exercises what are those so while doing it while starting with brisk walking or any sort of exercises you need to do light warm up or cool down period so what is warm up you can start with little slow pace don't all sudden start in a speed and just go on doing the same you just have to start with little warm up exercise after that listen to your body doing aerobic exercise will never tend you any chest pain or congestions or any pains no never if it is then you should stop there and then then try drinking as much as water you can you should be hydrated while doing the exercises especially during the endurance exercises now whenever you are outdoor please check out the surroundings how the surrounding is the level should be straight there should be no obstacles in between also to prevent the injuries use helmets and most important among all is wear proper shoes shoes are the very important component when it comes to aerobic exercise so shoes should be very comfortable the firmness of the shoes should be very soft that is a once in a while investment but that will prevent your knee pain as well as your muscle pain 
a comfortable shoes is very necessary while doing aerobic exercises now we'll move on to the second component is that is flexibility what is flexibility simply means stretching your muscles now stretching it is a safe and useful activity for healthy adults that help improve overall flexibility neuromuscular coordination balance and postural awareness so while stretching you have to take your body to the full range that is what we call it stretching whatever the angle is it should be in full range if it is stuck in between that's what we call it as stretching now stretching may affect you positively on your mind as well as body so when done in slow and focused manner an extended stretch can be very excellent relaxation as well as a stress reducer now we'll move towards the stretches for the whole body what you can perform at home i'll call a volunteer this way okay just stand so stretching we can perform in standing position as well as sitting position so that is okay if you come on this side also okay. this is more visible or this one both are there okay sir sit 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 so first next stretching we'll start with the neck now next stretching what you'll do first look diagonally this way and then you will stretch it downwards getting me not that way that's what i asked you look diagonally this way 45 degrees you can come sit here see diagonally this is your straight neck this one is diagonally and you have to take it down so when you perform it on yourself how it looks like this is the straight neck this is the one and you are stretching it like this this way not this way okay so we can do it on the alternate side nice stretch that is for 5 second hold okay then we will move towards the shoulder rolls how you will do the shoulder rolls this are the shoulder you'll take it behind stretch it behind keep your hands like this huh. sit straight yeah this is the common mistake what people tend to do when they are sitting on the chair they are comfortable on the chair but 90 degree should be the position okay so this is how now you can keep your hand like this and just stretch your shoulder backwards are you getting the proper stretch if not you are not sitting properly you should be 90 degree from your back towards your hip and this should go beyond like this backwards so the spine backwards it should come together the scapula the scapular muscle behind it should come together is it coming then it is the right way if you are getting a proper stretch and for the front one you'll go forward this this way try touching your elbows here are you getting the stretch yeah we'll do it once more for the back one getting the stretch and then you'll move forward hold for 5 second now see in this person it is like he is doing his contracting his body you don't have to contract you need to be relaxed you just have to stretch it that's it be relaxed just stretch see you should be relaxed and stretch your body then it will benefit you in better way now you will we will move towards triceps triceps stretch how will perform triceps stretch 
Now lift your right, uh, any of your hand towards the ceiling. Take it backwards, bend from your elbow. Your middle finger should be parallel to your spine. Now with the other hand, take your other hand. Take your other hand this way and just pull it behind. Are you getting the stretch? Are you getting the stretch? Yes. The tri tricep stretch. That is the wrong way. See, I'll tell you all one more time. See, look, take your hand up towards the ceiling. Now bend it back. Your middle finger should be parallel to the spine. Is it parallel? Now hold on to your elbows and take it back. Are you getting the stretch? If you are getting the stretch, you are doing it in the right way. That's fun. That's nice. You are trying it good. Now we will move towards overhead stretch. Now what is overhead stretch? Uh, stretch in this? Most of the diabetic people are very helpful among this. Why? In diabetic people, we come across that is frozen shoulder many of the time. And those people are unaware about that thing because overhead activities are very, co uh, very less common among doing our activities in our daily life. So whenever you perform the stretch activity, you'll come across whether you can take your shoulder at the full range or no. So while oh, doing the overhead activity, Take both your head. Uh, huh. Now clench your fist and stretch it. Now to get a better result, what you'll do? Clench your fist like this. Front, front. Do it. Now take it backwards and now stretch it up. How are you feeling? Are you getting the stretch? This is most helpful when you are on the laptop all the time. So all the stretches you have to hold for 5 seconds. We'll do it once more. Clench your fist like this. And then turn it. And then take it upwards. Very nice. Good. This is your overhead stretch. And when you are not able to lift any of your hand, that means you need to consult your physician or your physiotherapist. This also helps in increasing your range of motion of the shoulders. Some people, they come across only this level. Slowly and steadily, you have to increase the range. The next one is chest stretch. How you will do the chest stretch? Now, the same way, how you clench your fist or in front, the same way you have to take it from behind. Yes. This is how it is. Can you? So for you, you can take it, take your hand. Huh. You can also take your hand behind the chair. Yeah, if possible. Can you? Or this one is more comfortable? Yeah. This one is more comfortable. Clench your fist and just take it behind. It should look like this from behind. This is the stretch exercise, chest one. Are you getting the stretch? The stretch should never turn into pain. Keep that in mind. If you're not getting the stretch, you're not doing it in a proper way. Don't think, don't pull it more that I should get the stretch. Why I'm not getting the stretch? It is not the case. You should do it in proper way. You'll get a proper stretch. And if not, then your muscles are not tight enough. And that's okay. For the sedentary lifestyle, when people work from home, when they're mostly on computers, those people have spasm in their upper trapezius spasm over here. And for them, this exercise is very helpful. Now we'll move towards the wrist stretch. How you will perform the wrist stretch? Hold your hand like this. Face your palm backwards. Now pull it behind with the other hand. Pull it behind. Yes. Your elbow should be straight. 
for five seconds. Another one you can do is now downwards. This is downwards. Five second hold. And while doing this, your elbow should be straight. It should not be bended. It should be straight. Do it with other hand also. How you will do? This way. And it should not go like this. It will cause you sprain. It should not go like this. It should be straight. Another one is. Should we feel the, stretch if you can mm -hmm. the wrist and the forearm muscles. Are you getting the stretch? Yes. Now we'll move the most beautiful stretch which I personally love that is spinal stretch. At the end of the day, while exerting, while working, we tend to get spasm at your back. Now for this, what you'll do? You'll hold on to the chair from one side and this hand should come over here. This hand. Stretch yourself. Good. Are you getting the stretch? Pull yourself. Pull yourself. Yes. You should look backwards. Are you getting the stretch at the back? See, the hand should be at the edge of the chair, like towards the highest range, upside. And then you'll get the proper stretch this side. Are you getting the stretch at the spine? We'll do it on the other side. Hold on to the chair. Are you getting the stretch? You have to turn, you have to take a complete turn. Then only you'll get a stretch. He might be a very relaxed person right now. <laughs> The hamstring stretch. Now the next one is the hamstring stretch. For that you will have to extend one leg and keep one leg in 90 degree. Is it visible now? So I'll take the chair over the earth. Hmm. So for this, extend one leg and one leg should be 90 degrees. Now you tend to move forward, not like this. See, this is the wrong way. Just move forward from your upper back. And see, the knee should not bend. It should be straight enough. And are you getting the stretch? Move forward from your upper back. Just move forward. Not with both the legs. Only one leg. One leg should be 90 degree. Aapka ek pair 90 degree hona chahiye. Matlab aise ye angle mein. Aur dousra pair. Okay. Now do it. Now move forward. Are you getting the stretch now? Like this you have to move forward from your upper back. Your whole back should be straight enough. It should not bend. The neck should not bend. Only the upper back should move forward towards the leg. You'll get a stretch at your leg. We'll perform with another leg. Hmm. Move forward. So his hamstrings are tight because the knee is bending. When your knee tends to bend while doing this exercise, that means your hamstrings are tight. What are hamstrings? This muscles behind your back. Those are tight. Yeah? Okay. Now we'll move towards the hip stretch. Now this hip stretch is more important in females. It helps them to prevent the low back pain. Most female encounter with low back pain. So with this stretch, it will help you to come 
Come and release low back. Eight, one second. Move your leg upwards. Keep your leg like this. And just come forward. His muscles are very tight. Can you perform this exercise? Try doing it. Come forward. What am I doing? Lean forward. Are you getting the stretch? Are you getting the stretch? Yes. So there are so many people who needs this stretching exercise to be performed every day because none of them, everyone's faces are like turned <laughs> in pain of the stretch. Okay. Now next we'll move towards the quadriceps stretch. For this, you have to stand. Yeah, yeah. All the exercises you have to perform for both the legs. Now we'll move towards the quadriceps stretch. For this, you have to be standing tall and straight. Just lift your leg from your knee backwards. Hmm. Pull. Take it, take it. And pull it backwards. Pull it backwards. Pull it backwards. Pull it backwards. Now keep this in mind. The leg should not go towards the buttocks. It should come away from the buttocks. Yeah. And extend it behind. Yes. I'll show you. It should go like this. It should not come forward. It should go behind. Because I'm wearing heels. I can't <laughs> balance much. Now after the stretch. Feeling good? Better? Yes. Yeah. Now we'll move towards the balance exercise. It's, it's said in Hindi, Jab neev, the base, when it is strong, the whole building can stand very strong if your legs are strong, if your balance is good. So, balance exercise, why we perform balance exercise? In mostly in old age people, people tend to fall and come across the hip fracture because they have less of balance in them. So a common problem in adults that can have serious consequences hold on to the for that while doing the exercises you have to hold on to the countertop of any table while doing the balance exercises. Should never perform any of the balance exercises alone. There should be someone around you and also well supported. Now, how balance exercises improve? Help you in improving your life. Now, balance exercises, in balance exercises, we tend to increase your body awareness. What is body awareness? Body awareness in terms of your legs, your hands, where, it are, where those are in the air where it comes to an obstacle or anything like that when you come extra, across you should balance yourself you should tend to use your limbs and just concentrate on the base you are supported the gravity which is acting on your body that should help while doing the balancing exercises also the reaction time in balance exercises that helps you to counter the reaction time what is reaction time if you come across any of the obstacle in front of you, any of the speed breaker, all of a sudden, what you have to do, you have to manage yourself by falling. You tend to fall and in that you try to balance or catch on hold to something or try balancing on other leg. That is what is called reaction time. While doing, after doing this balance exercises, this will help you to increase your reaction time. So you can see. Now what are the balance exercises to be performed? This is especially helpful for the old age people. In younger people, the balance is come, come. the balance is mostly good, but in old age people after 30 to 40 years, your balance tend to be very weak. So for that, we'll start with the basic balance exercise to stand. Now for this, you should be supported all the time. Always keep that in mind. While performing the balance exercise, you should be supported. Hold on to the chair. Now stand straight. Yeah. Wide, legs wide apart. Shoulder level 
and the leg level should be straight. Now try balancing on your legs first. Are you comfortable in balancing like this without holding? If yes, then you will try shifting your weight on one leg and lift another leg a little bit off the ground. A little bit off the ground. Little bit, that is this way. You will try to shift your weight on other leg like this. Can you see my legs? How I am shifting my weight on another leg and balancing on one leg. If you are able, don't challenge yourself. Always be supported. Always be supported. And if you are confident enough that you can balance on your leg, then you try removing. Only use one finger. And if you are confident for that one finger, then go for unsupported exercise. Comfortable? Now increase the length of your leg coming off the ground. Now you will move towards, yes, just sideways. Comfortable? If you can balance, hold on, hold on for three seconds and just see how is your balance. How is your balance? Hold on. One, two, three. Check for another leg. One, two, three. Now we'll move your leg backwards. One single leg backwards. One, two, three. You need to get supported. Yes. Again, another leg. One, backwards. One, two, three. Right. Able to balance? How is your balance? How is your balance? Is it good? Yes. Okay, okay. Now you move on to your toes, balance yourself, Sharon can do it very nicely. Hold on for 5 seconds, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, come down, very good. Again, lift it up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, very nice. Were you able to do it? Nice. These are your balance exercise. Now you will progress towards spot marching. How it's spot marching? You have to lift your leg towards 90 degree up. Yes. Simultaneously with both the legs. Fit enough? Sir is fit enough. Can you get it 90 degree? Yeah, good, good. Very nice. Hold on to the chair if you feel that you'll tend to lose your balance. Don't hesitate. That's okay. Not an issue. Great. Everyone's balance is good over here. <laughs> All seems to be very active. Yeah, yeah. Yes. No. So when you take your leg upwards, you breathe in. When you take your leg down, you breathe out. There is no timing for breathe in, breathe out. But while doing the exercises, you keep on breathing from your nose and exhaling from your mouth. Okay? You all can sit down. Now we'll move towards the main one. Where your muscles are when you look good, when you feel like, like straining. Building up your muscles. Now strength training and strengthening exercise. This is what when you train your group of muscle to get strengthened. So those exercises are designed to improve strength of certain muscles or set of muscles. Like when you go for biceps, triceps, all the group of muscles, this strengthen. So, for standing exercise, always we have to use certain type of weights. Now, you will come across one question that we don't have weights at home. Shall we buy them? 
but no you don't need to buy any sort of weights you can use a simple water bottle or for my patients i ask them to use a socks fill it with any sand or grain or something any uh, stones or something just make it of half kg and tie it on your limbs at the end and that helps in strengthening giving resistance while doing the range of motion exercises now this helps in improving your bone density reduces the risk of osteoporosis many of them many of the older patient come across the knee pain because of osteoporosis because of osteoarthritis you'll come across while walking while climbing the stairs you you are less with the muscle energy the joint energy strengthening helps you to strengthen the muscles the bones the joints everything so in this will tend to move towards the strengthening exercises now we did not get the weights over here for strengthening exercises for the biceps will first move on to the biceps you'll just curl up your elbows upwards yes now the shoulder should be 90 degree it should not come this way it should not come this way it should be 90 degree just curl up your shoulder up and take it down that's it this is for your biceps okay you can use a weighted thera band or weighted object anything secondly you can do it with other hand also 10 re 10 repetitions for initial starting okay you just have to curl it up and down now for the shoulder you need to take your hands towards the ceiling ha hold on to any object and just take your hands down up and down see a simple water bottle can help you to give resistance while doing the standing exercise just hold on to this hold with both the hands just take it up and take it down this way this is not behind this way <laughs> take it up and take it down take it up take it down you have to do this 10 times hold on and take it down now another one you can do is keep your hands in front and take it behind yes take it behind now while taking it behind your elbow should not go down this way this way this way it should come this way right at your shoulder level hold on right at your shoulder level see your elbows are going down this way this way these are not yeah perfect you can use the resistance band or thera band or any sort of uh, elastic bands for your resistance now we'll move towards the upper back exercises how you'll do the upper back exercises for that you have to come on the plinth you have to lie down on the bed come is it visible you know yeah now you'll keep your hands backwards hmm and try coming up try yes good go down go down very nice come up words very nice go down if not possible to come up like this you can tie any of the resistance band in front of you to a constant object pull it and come upwards as if this is hold on to my hand no 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 both the both the hands ha huh. come up first and down <laughs> okay is fine i am the physiotherapist with him he is fine <laughs> okay now we'll move towards the back extension exercises for that you have to lie on your stomach go okay 
your hand should be like this at the shoulder level right now slowly you have to come up that's it this way is it visible to you all come down come up very good nice his back exercises are good nice did you all get this exercise so many of them when i train the patient their hands are this way this way or this way the hand should be like this right at your shoulder level and then keep your hand like this and tend to move upwards okay now come on now we'll do the lower body exercise now for this what you'll have to do you'll have to tie any of the weighted object at your leg and then just move your leg outside 10 repetitions take it outside ha huh. again 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 now towards the left side 1 okay for this you have to tie some weight at your ankles always tie the weights at the end okay so move on one two so the leg should not go the common mistake is the leg should not go this way and the toe should point in front so it should go straight away like this straight away like this yes ma'am and yes also if your range and your strength is good you should not take it beyond certain limit that will strain your muscles also your back your hip muscles so just this much yes now from another leg okay okay now you'll take your leg forward straight ways straight yes and the leg all the exercises for 10 repetitions you are comfortable with 10 repetition then move on with five more then five more don't go next towards 20 even though if you feel good you should increase it gradually all the exercises should be increased gradually yes fine now the next one is you have to keep your hand like this in front go down towards cutting and come up no see when you are doing squatting your leg should be at your shoulder level hand should be straight enough at your shoulder level see shoulder level straight are you comfortable you should not go that much down yes this much is enough yes good good very good very nice very good i could see the happiness of exercising today <laughs> even though i don't know inside what it is but on the face i could see that this is helping you all and it will definitely help you all no 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 the the foot should be rested on the ground flat yes that is not the right way yeah the foot should be rested yes go down sit all with me so add on to the standing exercises he yeah, a good one also one more mistake when doing the squatting what people tend to do they go behind and then go down this is not the way it should be straight 
the back should be straight enough and go down yes yes and there should be gap between two legs always good perfect so to add on two to three exercises from each of this form should be sufficient enough to build a balanced and effective exercise program for the everyday health then performing exercises for many days the same same particular manner will never help you there should always be progression in the exercise if today you are doing cardio tomorrow you should practice doing standing exercise day after tomorrow you can practice a balance exercise that variation should be there so you will feel good that monotonous things will not come into your mind and you won't feel very uh, less energized or not enjoying those exercises exercises will dramatically improve your emotional personal and social life now people who are active who do this exercises every time they recover from major illnesses then those who who practice sedentary lifestyle who don't tend to move on who don't feel like being active all the time so maximum benefit if you want to gain from the exercise you should perform those exercise 30 minutes per day gradually progressing from 30 minutes add on benefit if you want to gain from the exercises you should follow a particular a beneficial diet along with it also regular exercising with it this will boost your energy as well as your lifestyle and mood everything will be energized thank you okay yeah Yeah. Uh, I have I have one or two questions. First will be on osteoporosis. What, how would you really explain or define it? What is really? Uh -huh. So yes, when it is osteoporosis, there is restriction in your range of motion. You cause pain in that area, whichever joint is affected. So while if you come across the knee, so you won't be able to extend it completely. You'll feel pain. whenever there is pressure on the joints the two joints there is less of lubrication so because of that when the pressure is exerted on two joints that causes pain that is how osteoporosis look like so what about this bone density then is it if we have a check up on it how do we uh, redo it in case it's gone down or something so for that you need to consult a physician for bone density test sir might be knowing it more there is a test for a bone density check up and with those ranges with those scale you can come across how your bone density is oh, sorry and now what body building and compared to exercising and body building is it uh, is thing big major difference body building is something you put on resistance and what all exercises i have thought that is for overall health purpose okay looking at the conditions such as your lungs your hearts looking at the patient who come for the strokes paralysis everything for that you have to keep your body active body building particularly focuses on only one thing that is i should look good my muscle mass should increase that's it but our exercises purpose is not only focused on one thing Okay thank you. Yeah. There are some more questions which have come in. One question is how long do you need to walk every day to keep healthy is 45 minutes too long? See now walking it depends on the age it depends on you and me. What sir can walk like sir can walk for 45 minutes or 30 minutes I can walk beyond that. Or you can walk beyond that. It depends on person to person. how is your physical health 30 minutes is sufficient enough to take a walk but it still depends on person to person right i won't recommend my 30 minutes to you i won't recommend my 30 minutes to someone else it depends yes and as per the aha recommendations the american heart association 30 minutes of brisk walking every day 
for at least five days a week. Totaling up to 150 minutes a week is the minimum recommendation to maintain good health. Now, the second question has come from somebody who has been exercising mm -hmm. and getting pain. Mm -hmm. Is it okay to keep on exercising if something is paining and then he or she is asking, no pain, no gain? Yeah. No pain, no gain won't work over here in the therapeutic purpose. So, for us, we measure according to a scale. So, from 1 to 10, how much is the pain? It depends. If it is still 5 or less than 5, you can exercise. But if it is more than 5, you should stop. You should check on to your physician what it is. Check on to your physiotherapist and then move on. Okay, thank you. And uh, there's another question. People who had COVID are feeling weaker and less able to do as much exercise as before. Will exercise help? to reduce the feelings of weakness and fatigue or will it make it worse? No, definitely not. It won't make it worse. Yes, but what you have to take in mind that today if you are practicing for 10 minutes, you should gradually increase for 15 minutes. Don't go directly towards if it is said or fixed that 30 minute exercise will help you, 30 minutes, 45 minutes. If you strain your body, that will help you. No, it won't. Just go on with your pace. If you are comfortable with only 10 minutes, that is also sufficient enough to meet your that day needs. So that will not worsen. Just take care of that timings. Mm, yeah, thank you. Another question is, will daily exercise help us sleep better through the night? <laughs> yes, definitely. Definitely. It will help you because... As I said, when you exercise, you release hormone, that is endorphin hormone while exercising. So that is a feel-good hormone. And when you exercise, you tend to release more of it. And you feel good, energized. And you feel, you get a good night's sleep. Yeah, another question is, can't always get outdoors. So is walking in the house a good alternative? Oh. Yes, walking anywhere is a good alternative. It's not only compulsory, you have to go step out and just walk. You can go around your balcony, you can go from one uh, room to another room. Everything works. Yes. Then there is another question. When I walk, I get knee pain. What exercises can I do? Same. Okay. I have the same question. Okay. Knee Can pain. Walk? Yeah, no, sometimes when I get a knee pain, I just uh, just do it like that and wrong ways. <laughs> do it like that means you do like this yeah. for the benefit of the camera, I'm saying. Uh -huh. it's, she's saying that when she gets knee pain, she yeah. does like this, like? Yeah, I just, uh, just try just to brush it up. Tries to loosen it up. Yeah, loosen up that. Okay. So first, we have to underline the condition why it is causing you knee pain. What activities are causing you knee pain? So for walking, if walking is causing you knee pain, then you have to strengthen your knees. And for that, we have particular exercises for strengthening your knees. One exercise in sitting position. You sit in 90 degree position, hold on to your fist, keep it in between both the knees and just squeeze it inside. Hold on for 10 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Press it inwards and then release it. This is for your knee. Another exercise is what you can do is just extend your knee straight, forward, take it back, backwards. Yes, complete backwards. Again, move it forward and backwards. Now for main thing about knee pain is your footwear. Always keep that in mind. Your footwear should be soft enough, comfortable. Change your footwear if it is too hard. That will directly put pressure at your knees. That is the main component when you walk. Right. Any other questions here? Yeah. Doctor, I had a uh, question, like when you exercise and you get sore muscles, sometimes you do a lot of muscular exercise and you get sore muscles, yeah. should we take a break or should we keep continuing our exercise? Yeah, you have to take break. So now today if you plan for doing 10 repetitions and we get soreness, 
then again on the next day you will do the 10 repetitions only until you feel comfortable at the end of the exercise okay that is how you plan your exercise Doctor, you spoke about uh, footwear. How important is the insole? And uh, you know, should we be use uh, if required? Should we be using uh, uh, supportive uh, insoles, which uh, like Doctor Scholes and things like that? So supportive insoles. Sometimes it is for people who have limb length discrepancy. So for that, we put on the height. To just adjust the height for walking those insoles are used for that otherwise comfortable shoes in whichever shoes not any particular brand or something whichever you feel comfortable you can use those ex uh, shoes uh, one more question yeah what is the best time for exercising so I don't tell you all or something uh, that there is a best time or something because of our work schedule it is very hard to remove particular type of exercise any time of day whenever you exercise in full mode that is the best time for exercise at the same time we also recommend not to exercise immediately after a heavy meal so that's something which you need to keep in mind 45 especially minutes yeah. should be the gap between the meal and exercise so what about protein shakes and uh, body mass building uh, supplements that are available? How effective are those? When should they be used? And when they, when should, who should not use them? Generally in India what we have seen is that uh, the Indian diet is deficient in proteins. It's very carbohydrate rich. The ideal recommendations for uh, protein intake daily requirement is 1 gram per kg of your body weight per day. If you look at an average Indian diet, it is primarily carbs and fats and a little bit of proteins. If you are 60 kilos of weight, you need to consume 60 grams of proteins every day. The only thing to take care is if you have uh, uric acid problems or you have uh, kidney problems. In that case, the recommendation is to reduce to 0.8 grams per kg per day of first class proteins. What do I mean by first class proteins are the proteins which are easily digestible and which assimilate into the body. Generally these are of non-vegetarian origin. For vegetarians there are other options like uh, paneer or milk based uh, proteins, whey proteins and uh, soya based proteins. When you talk about supplements or for uh, like you said about when to take supplements, Generally, people who are doing heavy bodybuilding, there, there is an increased requirement for proteins. In that case, they can take it under the supervision of a certified fitness coach and a doctor, just so that they are safe while taking it and also ensure that you drink enough water when you have a lot of proteins. Otherwise, there are chances of kidney stones also forming in certain people because of the urate and oxalate metabolisms. Other than that, it is generally good to uh, check your diet, contact a certified nutritionist or someone who will be able to guide you regarding the proteins because even the non-vegetarians in India generally consume very less proteins, you may be surprised to know because the eating patterns are such that most of the diet or if you look at the plate, two-thirds of the plate or more than half is generally carbs like either rice or chapatis or things like that. So it is a, it's a concept of nutrition which we'll be addressing in our next, uh, in our coming, upcoming life enrichment seminars. Um, there's a uh, question on Zoom, which exercises to reduce belly fat? That's a very common question, so I think she yeah. must be ready with that. Okay. Please come forward. Take another volunteer. Okay. Come, Julian. Anyone? Julian, go. Come. I also need it. That's okay. Yeah. 
for this you have to lie down on your back okay now take one knee bend your one knee take it inwards inwards breathe in from your nose exhale from your mouth another leg breathe in exhale from your mouth the next one for the progression is you take both your legs together this way hold on for 5 seconds and move forward the third one is just fold your knees both the knees both the knees fold fold yes and just take your hip upwards take it down take it up take it down and you are comfortable while doing this you can hold on for 5 seconds while doing this take it up hold for 5 seconds breathe in breathe out hold on add on to this when you are comfortable in holding you have to do a tummy tuck you have to just tighten your abdomen muscles tighten it and then go up and come down so this will help your core muscles to lose weight and strengthen it thank you thank you just one last request uh, doctor if you uh, you know we've seen a lot of exercises yeah. and we've seen the way we need to do it but we may actually tend to do it incorrectly so if okay. you could make a video and uh, send it to us sure. on the right way of doing it and also cover the wrong way as well okay i'll do i i'll show yes definitely there is a website which is there where we post the complete uh, details of what all we have been presenting here it will have the videos and other uh, things also and even this recording will be eventually edited and put up on uh, youtube for the purpose of showing everyone are there any more questions i'd like to call upon dominic to just give the vote of thanks and uh, close the session So, uh, would you all join me in, in giving a good hand to Dr. Kiran? Thank you so much. That was really nice of you to actually spend time. Thank you, Dr. Matthew, as well, for organizing this. And uh, I am sure that you will learn quite a few things on and take benefit from all these exercises. And I'm sure you'll be having, you'll be living a more healthy and enjoyable life. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining.